Welcome back to Tony Ox Underground 2. Today we're stuck with Bam's team in Berlin. All right, we're Berlin. stuck with them. That's the best now way to put it. That dead weight sparrow. We're gonna kick some ass. Me and Polly will be around. You just gotta find us. Oh, hope you weren't. Ready hope you were done reading that. See fat boy Phil. Get me down. Oh, hello, sir. It's a lot of interesting imagery in this level. Yeah. Hey, Phil. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> you just lost points for that one. Bam wasn't looking. Come here, come here. <laughs> he literally wasn't. He's just looking at the wall. I need to knock down these letters first, because getting up here is the hardest damn thing. Oh yeah, I hated this one. The game can't decide if it wants to lip next to the letters or grind. There we go, all three at once. I feel like I always did it the hard way. I would always like grind up each one of those bars and lip trick on each individual letter. I was trying to do that. I managed to get it into a grind. Speaking of which. Where to start? I feel like Bam would be reasonably tall in person, which gives you an idea of how tall Titty is. Well, let's see. Let's see how just how just how tall Bam Margera is. According to the internet, which is always right. Oh, he's only five eight. Oh, okay. You don't need to face the grind and barf at the security guards. It just needs to be at the rail above them. Oh, I thought you had to do it against that one near that wall that you got banned from. I didn't know you could do it on any cop. I mean, those are the only two I'm aware of. Hey, Wee Man. This ridiculous cartoon fish for some reason. Free fishy. Well, that guy's screwed. Now, the annoying thing, another mission is to set my skateboard on fire and then jump over this guy and light his hat on fire. I need to do that for three of the guys walking around. But now that little circle is wet, which douses the fire from my board. Oh, yeah. So it made that mission harder. Oh, yeah, you got to land a big combo in the church. Same deal as before, though. You need to start the combo in the church. So that's why it didn't count there. Berlin, famously haunted. <laughs> I love these vague text boxes you keep getting when you do things. Broken curse. Pretty fishy. You can grind the ladder on the ground and get more speed. I keep forgetting to press the right shoulder button and grab it. There we go. Hey, come over here. The texture looks a little funky because I need to bring another character over here and spray paint the wall. There's actually a texture hidden underneath another texture. You know, I don't know why I, I never thought that tobacco vending machines were a thing. Like, I, I'm sure they're not much of a thing anymore, but I don't know why I'm surprised that they ever existed. <laughs> yeah. It, it's such a vendable object, I guess. Hey, what's up? Sure, I'll show you an old school Who is this? Um, is that Tony Alva? No, he is the uh, originator of the Not a Spin. I uh, do. Let me look up his last name. 
I mean, his first name. Oh, Nautis is his uh, first name. His name is Nautis Kaupas, K-A-U-P-A-S. Hmm. And he invented the Nautis spin. Speaking of Nautis spin, now that we can actually do that, I want to switch back to Titty because I need to do, I think, three of them in one combo for another stat point. Oh, this is a good place to do it with all these poles. There we go. Yeah, three times. Easy peasy. I think I have only one stat left, and it's to Ollie like 70 feet. Oh, yeah, those are always tough. I'm, just, I'm never exactly sure of where the best place to do those are. Time to absolutely get arrested. If barfing on the other two cops didn't count. <laughs> I will play the sax for you. That I will play the <laughs> I will play the I do not think that was a sax though. <laughs> looked for, looked per particularly trumpular. There's a few really long saxophones. Kenny G plays one. Maybe I was missing it because it very much looked like a trumpet, like a straight instrument. Does this have to be one combo? Uh, no, oh, guess not. It just needs to be quick. Oh. I BS'd it, so fine. This makes more sense if you're playing as Titty. Yeah. Bam, the captain of the other team. Come to our team. Come on, let's Fire Emblem Three Houses it. <laughs> let's just absorb every team into one. Hey, Bam, you want to go get some tea? <laughs> There we go. Luckily, he was out of the water. Oh, no, there's another one. Just get off your board and jump next to him. That's so much easier than, like, actually trying to do a trick over him. And the last one is down here. Some of them wander around a little bit, so it takes a little bit of doing to find them all sometimes. Yeah. This is a recurring thing. We saw this with Rodney Mullen. At this point in the game, the focus combos actually require you to do a clean combo, which means like you have to do a spin at some point and then land it clean. Yeah, at least 180 degrees and land it perfect. Which is a pain in the ass sometimes, but focus does make them a lot easier. It is easier to do it off a quarter pipe. Nope, nope. <laughs> Decidedly not clean, that one. It helps to start the combo with a clean spin so you can actually tell, okay, I've got it, now do an actual combo. No, it's a different thing. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck off. Oh, did the failure get you out of your combo? Yeah. What a crock. Go, oh, hi, Polly. <laughs> I'm learning so much. I always climbed up to him the hard way. I didn't know you could just go through the doors. That's something that's hard to be conscious of in Underground 2. A lot of the roofs have easy access points, but you're so used to doing things like jumping to them or climbing up to them. Yeah, I'm like, that's the only way to do it. That's going the wrong way. Gotta keep going up. 
that that jump is super persnickety, dude. This one's kind of a pain. You just have to ollie at just the right time to actually get that lip to jump you up. That was bullshit. Yeah, or not hit your head on the mysterious ledge that you don't always hit your head on. That last bit, just, again, grinding on that fucking awning is the hard part. Yeah, that mission is not a favorite of mine. Then Rocket Air, yeah. That was pretty fun, though. I like any mission that just launches you. Okay, just making a note for myself. I sent myself motivational text to help with my depression. <laughs> Bam, Titty is not a little jerk. Well, now he is. Man, last time I played this game, it was on sick. <laughs> and seeing these scores, I'm like, oh, oh, it's like breathing. <laughs> you think Titty's initials are TID? Titty Ignatius Dinglehop. Titty is dead. <laughs> oh no! I don't want that. Not until the next game. <laughs> that was a very, very low impact bail. No sound effect, just... Oh. Graffiti tagger is up here. Just jump off the last awning and then yeah, climb up the ladder. <laughs> Come on. So many walls, so little time. Kind of interesting. The character is a graffiti artist, so it's his job to take care of Spat. Makes total sense to me. He taught Spat everything he knows, and now he's betrayed the master. I don't know why, but this feels like something you would see in the first level, where you have the graffiti artist the character is the graffiti artist, and so he does all the graffiti stuff, and then in later levels, other characters have to do graffiti. Is that just me? Yeah, I'm not I'm not sure. It does make sense to have the graffiti tagger introduce the graffiti to you. I guess I just didn't think of it that hard. <laughs> oh yeah, you have to do that too. Very territorial. Now, even though that is a big billboard, it's not the big billboard. That is a medium billboard. Maybe we can jump off that. There we go. <laughs> Give it a, put a little extra mustard on that one. Now, I left a little ketchup up there. <laughs> Still going. It is the trauma. I still think I'm on fire. <laughs> there was once a beautiful. <laughs> Sorry, I have my priorities. You binked the knowledge into my head. No, they're just all on this side of the wall. Ignore that I'm putting Thug 2 everywhere. It adds some spice to it. I mean, this is lovely on its own, but I mean, the Thug 2 really brings it home. And when you do that, that opens up the club. There's nothing in the club, so I don't bother going in there. Yeah, there's just these weird mouse monkey mascots. They're kind of all over this game in one way or another. I don't know if they're a thing from something, but they're weird. That was a weird acid drop. <laughs> acid drop indeed.
I kind of wish that you covered the spat stuff with something more significant than just a scribble. Like, it'd be cool if, like, you covered it with some... Ooh. <laughs> like, if you just covered it with some, like, better-looking graffiti art. Now, again, I could jump off of that quarter pipe to try and get up to that tagger, but I could just go up to the roof and drop down. If I could aim... <laughs> <laughs> hey, heads up! Uh, uh, you didn't see that. <laughs> heads very up. Oop. Out my ass. These security guards are short. And the last spot is behind Bam. At least where he would be. Actually, I might have put him back there. The big billboard is actually right nearby where the graffiti artist was. Oh yeah, this one you got a dangle to do it. Very safe. <laughs> Fuck that can. And the last tagger is up on that top awning. And there's a ladder right here. Man, these guys are kind of hidden. <laughs> oh, I want to be sure you see this. <laughs> see you in hell, bitch. Okay, now I now I actually have to talk to Polly. Uh, I held it off as long as I could. Can we skip this part? Wait, bring on the frown <laughs> He's so charming. It's funny because he's ten years old. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's already into a combo. Polly is somehow, like, one of the worst characters to control. He's so zippy. I actually found him a little easier than the last couple. He seems slower than when I played last. And now just do a combo. Oh, God. Comboing with Polly is the worst. I'm pretty sure that the sick one was like 50,000 points. God help me doing that one. I think I managed to do it, but it's no fun at all. That's just sick mode in general. I like it. I did it, but I didn't feel accomplished. <laughs> this is pretty fun. Again, just go up onto the roof, do a chair flip and an acid drop. Simple enough. Oh, God. Oh, I'm screwed. Oh, that one's a pain. In sick mode, I'm sure. Oh, I'm okay somehow. Well, it's the same. It's the same goal no matter what, I'm pretty sure. Just circle this 10 seconds. It's probably harder to maintain the grind, though. God, shut up. Oh, yeah, he does that all the time. And for Bam, this one's a little tricky. The first set of cones is over by the church. And the second set of cones is nearby the drunk dudes, nearby where you meet the graffiti artist. No, I missed it. To do this one, start the mail right here. And try to hold it as long as you can while you head over. If you feel like you're starting to get a little weaker, then activate focus. And then do some flat lands to maintain it. Doesn't make it easy, but makes it easier. Very nice. Something appropriate manualing from church to the bar. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> try and do that when you're drunk, bam. Way ahead of you, buddy. That's the most dad joke thing I've ever heard coming from Bam Margera. <laughs> hey, guys, check me out. I'm going big. Whoa! Oh, snail. Dude, you suck anymore. Yo, it's kind of ironic, man. Him nailing a wiener cart. 
get it? What an idiot. Well, he's not our problem anymore. Do you get it? Rookie swap again, and we got our old teammate back. Do you see this? Do you know what this is? Mates, Nigel Beaverhausen, writer, producer, director. Today, I'm here to chat you up about skateboarding. Chat you up means something different in the UK. The kids went nuts for it. <laughs> the contest God, this game is annoying. <laughs> mega righteous dudes, I'm talking rag to the Mizax. Cuckoo. That is why I must capture it on video for you. It'll be huge worldwide. And with a name like Nigel Beaverhausen, you can't go wrong. He looks like what Shrek would actually look like as a human. He's so mean to Shrek. I guess he got his answer, huh? Good thing he's not in this game. <laughs> hey, yo, if Australia's our next stop, isn't Bangkok on the way? Womp yeah! womp. Yeah! Oh, <laughs> Bangkok would probably be a fun level. More fun than Sydney, Australia, which is just a beach. Also, for some reason, they only call it Australia, not Sydney. Well, it's not America, so you don't have to be that specific. All of Australia is like Sydney, right? Yeah, you know, like how the level is Spain, not Barcelona? Wait. <laughs> also, why is there a world destruction tour when only three of the seven levels are outside of the U.S.? I don't know. I mean, WWE once had a World Cup with only American wrestlers. So, I mean, they could do worse. <laughs> they did the bare minimum. We got half of them. <laughs> I don't even, t I'm trying to think if you can see in the skybox in Sydney, like the Sydney Opera House or anything that would identify it as Australia other than like, there's a koala statue and an Aboriginal dude. I mean, I feel like I would guess that it's Australia if given a few chances, but yeah, there's no like specific Australian landmarks to this. Kind of the same with Berlin, nothing distinctly German about it. No, just like vague, like, yeah, this is a German city. I guess they're not all as specific as Tampa can be. I'm just, I guess I'm just lucky that Tampa was so specific that I could point out landmarks in that. Just not every Tony Hawk level is that in depth. Also, it's underground, too. Right. That was underground one. That one felt like they cared. Yeah, this game as a whole is not in depth. <laughs> 